Okay, we have more USB circuit to run through. And, you know, if you're at this, you're, if you're in this course, you would already have a good bit of experience in Altium Designer. So I'm not going to do too much explanation here. Let's go to make this size D. This is overkill. And then we'll just tighten it up um, later in the design. Okay. The next section is this USB 2 controller to handle the 480 megabits per second speed. So we need the, we need the, uh, let me look in my components panel. For my components, I need my TUSB 211 RWB. Yeah, here we go. I'll put it sideways, just like so. VCC. Actually, I'll do it like this, right? Upright. I need some other components too, like this capacitor 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor. I think this is the 0402. Let's see. Let's look at what they are. Here we got our bill of materials. Just to make sure I have the right component. Yeah, this is 0402. So let's go and put this name in. Right. It's going to be a lot of like finding the right name, making sure we have the right stuff. And then C2 will be our, you know, I guess I'll put this over here. C2 will be, ah, uh, this one's a little tricky. So I'm going to put these in a specific sections. Great, great. For my C2, I've got this component. All right, select that one. You can do the 50 volt one or the, oh, or the 10 volt one with X5R. Okay, well, how much is, which one's more expensive? Uh, pretty much the same price, so just get the better one. Really, you know, um, you could just get the better one. But I'll stick with this just just to maintain consistency. All right. C3 is the same as C2, C4, C. Okay. So that means I can just copy this. Oh, see, now we have a problem. C1. Mm, Okay, this should be 10,000 picofarad. Let's look at the manufacturer part number for this thing. Oh, uh oh, we don't have a component for this. So I might need to just save this on the workspace. Capacitors. Okay. All right, this is what we'll kind of go with here. And really, I should look at the. I'll take a look at the DigiKey description, right? It should be like 10,000 picofarad of capacitance. Or caps are on like 1,000 picofarad. Okay. Okay. We have 10,000 picofarad capacitors. Hmm. This is the part we actually need in our schematic. Let's go ahead and we can we can save this to server for now. Um, new capacitor manufacturer part number, but we already have this. We we already have a 1,000 picofarad capacitor. So what we need is a 10,000 picofarad capacitor. Okay. Yeah. Dealing with bill of materials gets so tricky sometimes. At least we have our two, like, I mean, really there's no point in having two of those. Might as well use two of the same component there. Now here, I, I picked out a 10,000 picofarad capacitor. So let's go into the manufacturer part search and let's look for this one, the manufacturer part number. The model exists. I'm gonna save this to my workspace. Yeah, click OK. Now I will copy the name from here, put it into the detail description. There we go. Give it that name within my name field. Right click, save this, close. New, paste the name, and then 
hit enter to OK and save it. In the next video, we'll continue adding these components to the schematic.